Yo, what's up guys? It's the Insane Game Freak here. For those watching this on stream, hi. And for those watching this uh, on the playback, nice. hi again. Uh, <laughs> so we're, Hello. We're back doing another movie review. It's been a while. I think the last video you guys saw from us was probably the Detective Pikachu one. So we're overdue. We're overdue. So, uh, Tara, are you supposed to turn your camera on? Because someone oh, said they're shit. not seeing you. Do I need to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I don't see your camera, brother. Uh, what? Oh, God. Oh, I got to turn on my lights, too. Fuck me. <laughs> Woo, there we are. <laughs> There's that Rosalina there? poster. You bitch. <laughs> I'm going to switch it out literally. Hashtag clean your room trail. My room's not even dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care what people... where is that No, it's just a, it's a running joke. But I want the joke to be based on truth, not fiction. Like no, every room... time somebody, uh, uh, every time somebody does a live on themselves and it shows the room, somebody, somebody, somebody in the chat's got to say, "Clean your room." Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm keeping all of this in. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because it's fun. So because it's real. Next Pokemon really, really review. Fun. I think we're on movie Why? 17. Oh fuck you, Tyrone! Don't put it in the chat, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> He's, fucking, he's a garbage human being, everybody. I want y'all to know this. <laughs> Anyways, we're doing movie 17. TSS, can we can we get the name of movie 17, please? Sure. Gekijoban Pocket Monster XY. Hakai no Mayu to Dianshi. Or Pocket Monsters X, uh, X and Y, the theatrical presentation, the cocoon of destruction, and Dianshi. Which literally is what it's called in English. It's just called Dianci and the Cocoon. I think it's exactly well, actually, actually, yeah, yeah, actually in Japanese it's Dianshi. Uh, Dianshi. Yeah, that's Dianshi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, people didn't know TSS were here. So let's, let's introduce the panel. Uh, first things first, Vanessa's here. Say hey, Vanessa. Hi. She's adorable. Tipper, folks. Uh, Tyrone is here. Hello, everybody. Tyrone the God 3 here. I feel so nostalgic. KG, do you feel nostalgic right now? <laughs> yeah. He's like, what? <laughs> is, he, is he dying? Yeah, we, 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 we have, we have, we have Dancy lost. Well, I feel uh, nostalgic yeah. because yeah, we're okay. reviewing X and Y stuff again. Oh, I feel, oh, well, yeah. In terms of that, I feel great. It's just that yeah. I just know we're something else man and that's all oh, no, don't me. we're not thinking about that right now we're, we're in the here and the now and just enjoy I'm, the here I'm and the now i'm thinking about this okay but no, i'm also right crying. Here, no. right now. i'm yeah. also right, crying let's... as well because my itunes is gonna die next week so well, I mean, right, give me right. some time that's fine anyway let's, let's that's kg's intro so hi yeah. reggie hi wait what all right do that again <laughs> Fuck it, Richie. Sorry, we don't do that. What's up, Richie? Buddy. How are you doing, sir? Wow. <laughs> and then he says nothing. No, because I knew he was going to say something. No, Richie. He did say it. Richie. No. Richie. We'll wait for you. Assert your dominance, Richie. <laughs> I don't know. I like Richie. I'm, for I'm, crew, I'm lazy today. Anyways, I've been, I've been doing pretty good. I uh, can't wait to get this stream rolling. Okay, and TSS to round it off. Oh man, I wish I was watching Rocket Man, but it's okay. How you doing, oh, Rocket Man? <laughs> it's, like, it's like we're about to review some Pokemon stuff. Man, I really wish I was watching Rocket Man right now. Man, God I wish damn. iTunes wasn't dying right now, man. Oh Jesus! Shut up, KG. Jesus. My 500 gigabytes. All right, listen, KG's, uh, KG's in the middle of a crisis. Oh, okay, God. listen, you have time. No you have time to cope with this because Tyrone has to give a plot summary. Right, yep. Tyrone? We'll in the background. Woo! Yes. Yes, I will get on that. Pokemon X and Y, Dianci in the Cocoon of Destruction. This movie starts off with Dianci, of course, and she's learning the, about the lore of the Carbinks and Dianci. Um, she is the princess, and because she's the princess, she has fairy powers, and she's able to restore an item known as the Diamond Heart. The Diamond Heart is basically a stone that gives off life energy towards the Carbinks and Dianci to keep them alive. Uh, however, it needs to be refueled almost every other how long. They, they don't specify it, but uh, it needs to be restored. Once its energy is restored, they can live peacefully. However, Dianzi lacks the power in order to be able to properly use the Diamond Heart. So she must seek out 
is Xerneas because it is a fairy type Pokemon and its fairy aura will give her the strength necessary in order to properly use the Diamond Heart. We cut to our heroes, Ash and the others, while Ash is battling a beauty that we'll see in much, much later in the actual series in the league. Um, he ends up losing the fight because she shows off a Mega Evolved Apsil, but after during that battle, we see that Diancy is being chased by several hunters. I cannot remember their names for the life of me, so I'm just going to say Greninja Hunter. Uh, then I'm going to say... Uh, then I'm also going to say Chestnut Hunter, and I'm also going to say Del Fox Hunter, because that makes my life a lot easier. Um, I okay. said that too on that one. I, I think one of them is Riot. One of them is... Uh, uh, one, yeah, one, one is Riot, one is Flint, one is uh, Marilyn. And Marilyn, one is, okay. Uh, and yeah. one is Mirrors. Yeah, Mirrors. Mirrors. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to call them by their starter names, though. So, um, while that's happening, we learn that Diancy is being chased by these thugs, and Ash basically agrees to escort Diancy to Xerneas so that it can get the fairy aura, and that's where our heroes fall in play. While traveling, our heroes wind up on a boat, they wind up on the road. It's, it's pretty much a road trip at that point, uh, similar to the Lucario and Jirachi movie. However, we also see that they have moments where they just sort of chill and lay back, like when uh, Bob Bonnie, Serena, and Diancy go shopping for clothes. So, yeah, we get to see a lot of cosplay Diancy for whoever's into that. Anyway, after that, once they travel forward, um, they get further chased by the hunters. Uh, the hunters travel closer, and due to the hunters' conflict, as well as the betrayal of the chestnut hunter, which was first... Uh, treated as like a normal person then they said oh never mind i'm a villain by the way uh the the conflict causes eveltal to show up uh when eveltal shows up it clearly kills like everything that's in sight uh and then diancy also remembers the legend of xerneas because of the story that carbink told xerneas has the power to restore pokemon that have been destroyed by eveltal the conflict causes pikachu to end up getting petrified ash ends up crying in a similar fashion of so the reverse effect of what happened in the first movie when Ash was petrified and Pikachu started crying. Uh, Xarnius shows up, cures Pikachu, everybody gets saved. Diancy Mega evolves and uh, uses the power so that it can use the Diamond Heart to its fullest potential and is able to restore everything. Diancy said it learned a lot from our heroes, never forgets them. They all say goodbye. Movie's over. Woo! Sounds Woo! exciting. 75 minutes. <laughs> it's like the short. 75 it minutes. Is. It's one of the shorter. 75 minutes. It's one of the shorter yeah. films. Um, so that's why my plot summary felt short. I don't well, know. that's because that's that's because once again we had a movie short before that, which is uh, Klefki. Well, well, let's see, it's a uh, uh, Klefki Nanokagi. You know, Kaki's what is Pokemon, this key? What is this key? And the, the the short the short was actually okay um, as well, What's but that? we're not reviewing the short. Yeah, was that one like the last no short before this for this movie? Um, no, next movie no, is the last next one. one. Yeah. Okay. So there's one yeah, more. I remember. Yeah. So one more, one more which short. you guys don't even review anyway, so it, it doesn't even matter. Well, I mean, we got well, watch the short we, anyway. We, the shorts are good. Oh yeah, I watch it too. Yeah, the shorts are good. So I, I think guess I the remember the clip key one. So the first thing we're gonna cover, uh, sub or dub? Uh, for me it was sub. Tyrone. Uh, I actually watched the dub this time around. I watched the sub originally when I watched it at first because, you know, X and Y. Uh, Vanessa, sub or dub? I watched the dub. TSS. Raw. This bitch. With, oh, with closed, with, with, uh, you raw. Put, with, you put a um, condom on? Closed, Fuck you, closed man. Cap, um, Jap I watched, actually, no, I didn't watch it raw. I actually watched it with Japanese closed captions. Wow. <sighs> Richie. So TSS is queen. Hey. Also, um... Dub. Uh, and KG. Both. You... <laughs> we always got these, these, these fucking over. I was looking for the sub, but I was unable to I find it. I found it. Yeah, the sub is hard to find. Really? I found it relatively really? easy. Yeah, it all I just, actually only have the dub file on my computer. It's literally on one single site. I have to remember if I even worked on that. I think I did. To be fair, I listened to some oh, of the dub. Kind of the left. dub sounded fine, so I didn't see any issues. Yeah, they were both good. It's yeah. just there is one major component that makes it different from each other. And the I dub has a seven minute, uh, seven minutes of extra footage. Oh yeah, no, the not that. I'm not referring to, to that. I'm referring to something else, <laughs> something music. Yeah, related. the dub, the dub took away seven minutes of footage. I'm sorry. The the original Japanese yeah. version added seven minutes. Wait. Yeah, I, was like, I don't think it added because yeah, the original Japanese smaller. version that's where it was from. 
Right. Because my, my run time is only like 65 minutes. So that's why it was like really like short for me. Yeah. yeah. It also, it, I, that's why I, that's why I switched. Originally, I started watching the dub and then the, uh, I started noticing certain scenes felt like they were being cut short. And I was like, well, let me go look at the sub real quick. And sure enough, they were cutting down scenes for some reason. Not even yeah. like offensive scenes. They were just scenes. Just normal scenes. They're just cutting for Cartoon Network's runtime. It's fucking dumb. I hope the Blu-ray didn't Garbage. do that. Garbage. 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 I hope Network. the Blu-ray and the DVD uh, releases didn't do that. That's besides the point. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So it's probably just that we had. So the first thing, the next thing would be, we have a new cast. Woo! Woo! The X and Y cast. Oh wow! Jesus! Oh damn! I was not who, who did that? That was Vanessa. That was that's not me. Vanessa. What the hell? Vanessa's on some live that shit. That sounded like a Richie thing, to be quite nah, honest. Nah, Richie I couldn't do Richie it. Richie did it too. I don't think Richie could have done it. It was. It nah, still sounded it like it. You know how I could tell it wasn't Richie because it didn't sound grainy. Oh, <laughs> that's grainy. Kind of, yeah, grainy. Yeah, grainy. No, 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 it had no, no. We call it in the business. I don't get it. But had, she had, le- she had lower like, fidelity. Oh god. Like yeah, like it didn't have that mic, the mic grains behind it. It's no, not, no, no, it had lower, lower fidelity on the mic. So, okay, so we have a new cast. We have Ash. Well, we, we have Ash. I like how you say you have a new cast, and then the first thing you mention is Ash. That's not how this works. Well, yeah, we have. Well, this this Ash is. Clearly different than the other ashes. How can but you tell? Is it, is it the size of his face or the turn of his hat? No, or is it's it the, the fact, fact that, that he has, has hair like growing over his no, ear? It's the, it's the fact that he has teeth. All right, guys, relax. <laughs> Y'all being oh, savages. Oh, it's the teeth and not teeth the nail that he has now? These are the subtleties that no one would notice. I want this to be stated, all right? <laughs> Actually, that was the first thing people noticed. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's teeth it's now. And nails. Yeah, people. <laughs> did they draw him with dentures? Is that what they did? Yeah. Oh goodness! All right, so I don't want to spend too much time on this because we're, we have this cast for for two more movies. Um, just That's quick it. thoughts on Serena, uh, uh, Clement, and Bonnie. Uh, I'm gonna let Tyrone go first because I know this is probably gonna take a second. I actually, well, well, with Serena, obviously you guys gotta watch me and Terrell's video on Serena at least the, during this section. Of um, of the movie because this movie takes place when Serena's still in her um, I I'll call it her X and Y form. She doesn't reach her X and Y Z form yet until the next one. Um, she this, she's a okay character at first. She doesn't come off well because of the slow pacing of her, but afterwards, once she finally like establishes something, but that's not till till later. So so as of now, Serena just sort of exists because Ash. It's, it's so handsome, right? <laughs> she just, yeah, she just is yeah. sort of like, she's like Ash's, like, I want to be waifu situation. Yeah. Uh, Clement, um, he's, he's pretty useful. He's kind of generic um, at this point in the story, but he's just... You know, he, he's got a lot of inventions. That's his whole gimmick. It's a running joke that him and Bonnie use a lot. I say the most interesting character out of this entire new cast is Bonnie. Bon- she's a kid, but unlike Max, she just acts like a kid. Like, and actually she, useful. Yeah, she's just, she's fun. She, she like, a lot of her is just being fun. She does little things. And, and even, like, so, tiny things that you have to look for. Like, in this movie, I know she wears uh, Clement's gym badges uh, t-shirt. Like she has a T-shirt. Why but aren't it's... those real sweaters, man? Yeah, yeah. she has a T-shirt. <laughs> What's the sweater sponsored... you're talking about? Yeah, it's sponsored by Clint to Clement's uh, gym badge. I thought that was pretty cool. I like that. Um, I think both of them were. Yeah, both of them were wearing it. But yeah, she's a fun character. She definitely was uh, fun when they were having the whole dressing scene. She's just she's fun. She's a, one of the greatest aspects of X and Y, and that's pretty much my thoughts on the new gas. Okay, TSS. Well. Well, let let me just put let me just put it as an aside. The characters are great. Unfortunately, the main uh, anime canon was not, in my opinion, because of the because of what we can get into. I'm not I'm not spending six and a half hours on this. <laughs> not um, again. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we we spent six and a half before we stream, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly. Why- Right. Exactly. It's gonna it's gonna take it's gonna take like seven hour review for that. Oh, I know. Um, oh, Serena, goodness. Serena, for Serena as a character wasn't developed as, as um, you know she didn't get much development. She had to be rebooted at like freaking X Y sixty or whatever the hell it is. 
Yeah. Or 65. 60 or so, no, it was 60. You were right. It was 60. It was 60. Yeah. yeah, you see? Um, so, I mean, I can't really comment her on this kind of movie because she didn't really have much in the way of character development at this stage. Um, yeah, this is like base level. Sort of yeah, she was kind of yeah. like misty in a sense. No, it's not the same. She was like Misty, but less bitchy. Misty sort of it just existed only because of the. She says it's the bike thing, but it was. Yeah, but, she, <laughs> but, she had, but she wanted. But to she date. had. But she had a clear. She had a clear character. Uh, uh, no, had a, the clear character from. At least in on. the movies, she did. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I okay. Can see okay. That. Yeah, yeah. So We're talking about yeah. films. Yeah, Misty was so. Yeah, um, let's see. We're gonna go. We're gonna go next to Eureka. Eureka, as a you know, as a character, her you know, she's she's very, you know, well, she's she's basically a kid that is is very I don't know observant or very like pushy to see her brother get a freaking girl. Mm-hmm. So it's obviously it, it's obviously her character was established early on. But she was actually very competent, you know. Unlike you know, some people say, "Oh, it's yeah. like, oh, Masto," you know, Masto. Yeah, well, well I mean, that, that that's that's a completely different debate. But um, at this point, her character is developed pretty well, and as for her performance in the movie, I have to say that is pretty much on point to where she was in the anime at that time. And I don't, I don't, you know, I don't dis- I don't dislike her. I think she was a pretty good character for what it was. All right, Citron. Um, Citron once again, kind of like the, the the kind of the dopey scientist kind of thing. Um, I have to say that uh, even even now, I would say much at, much later. I guess the second once by the time by the time movie eighteen comes around, he's a little bit more well rounded in his kind of mannerisms. Right now, it's kind of you don't you don't really see him as his full potential at this yeah. point. He's like not confident though. He was like kind of yeah. lacking. All yeah. yeah. And, and there was and and, and realistically on um, re- from a realistic standpoint, this is probably yeah, this is the only time outside of the anime where well, he actually didn't have any freaking things fail on him. Cuz there's no be there was fair, no uh, only, there was no fail gimmick. To be fair, he only used one invention in the movie. Right, but at least, but at least you have at least unlike the anime series, you One's don't have good that. Enough. <laughs> They're not One blowing is... up and giving them afros. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, yeah so it doesn't have it. Doesn't right. have it. Doesn't have the anime canon gimmick in this. Yeah, game. that's what I like. Yeah, but uh, the character was pretty, pretty consistent in my opinion. Uh, but I would say I liked, I liked um, Citrin's character a little bit later on, past movie eighteen. Yeah. Um, in in the mid in the mid X Y actually in the later part of the X Y series. Okay. Um, he got a he got a little bit better of a yeah. of a development. So, okay. that's all. Uh, Vanessa. Um, let's see. I think at this point though, was I think like Oof. with the, with Serena, I was um I guess I was I was kind of neutral towards her around this time when the when the movie came out. I guess like at the time she didn't have a goal, and then and I was, I just found it like oh she's um behind Ash and like just. Um, at the time, I was like, oh, it was my little crush. Like, that's all she can think of. And then it was just, like, those little cute moments, and she was trying to get the... She was trying to hide her, like, feelings. Like, oh, I don't want to... Like, either she doesn't want to tell Ash that she's he's in, in love with him or anything like that. And so then, I, that was kind of where I was at at that time before she, her change, like, after... I don't know when this movie came, like, around XY40 or something like that. Around that time. Well, I mean, because he already has Halucha and Flachinder, so it's... Flachinder and Chinder, yeah. So probably, yeah. So around 40, 50. And so that, so I was kind of neutral towards her at that time. And then um, and then finally, uh, Clement, or the Citron, I guess, whatever you guys can... Whichever. It, which, it doesn't matter. If you're English or Japanese, as long as you pick a name. <laughs> they, right. they, they, <laughs> yeah, pretty so, much. Clement, um, it's... Clement, though, um, like, I think I just mentioned, though, he, he still was, like, underdeveloped. Like, he was kind of, like, you know, like, not, not as confident at the time. And then I, I think in this movie, he didn't really do... I think the only thing he really did, though, mostly is just saved Ash from falling... At least um, falling from the freaking... Like, for killing himself. Like, he helped him get up to the, into the, in the mall part. Like, he helped him with that ladder. And then and then towards, like, before um, he fell out of the cliff, and, and then Clement was the one who, who uh, reached to Ash... But then at this right. point, getting Clement was mostly like looking up to Ash at this point. Like he didn't like, um, 
he still wasn't like fully confident with himself. Like he was just relying on others. So that was like with like with Calamity at that point. And then Bonnie, Bonnie, though no, she was uh, she was adorable to me. I always I loved her little gimmick where she tried to get her brother uh, to find someone and get girlfriend or get married, and then just yeah. Clement, the Clement's reaction just cracks me up every time. He's like, he's like, Bonnie, what are you doing? And she just takes her away. And she's like, oh, please, please, please think about it. Like, And then the girl's like, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, KG. Okay, so for me, the X and Y cast, I'm not really going to talk about the series itself, but I really want to talk God about <laughs> uh, talk about their film variant. Because to me, I really enjoy the characters in the films, the three films that we're going to be going through, uh, because they do do or do perform certain things that I enjoy from, you know, like for slice of life or just kind of simple comedic standards, you know. So I enjoy that sort of aspect. I think my main issue with them in the films is that I feel like they're underutilized than they yeah. should be. I think it's only because of the fact that uh, I've gotten so used to how it was for the Kelly film, which I really gushed over and how well it performed on having all the characters have something significant and add to the main storyline of the film that they're trying to go through. Um, but uh, with X and Y, they have, or in the X and Y films, they do have really adorable moments. Like in, I, I, I'm not going to talk much about this particular scene in this film uh, until later when we actually start diving into the film discussion itself, but there are certain like slice of life moments in this Diancy film that are just so goddamn adorable, and it's yeah, and I, I, was, I felt the same way too, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. there are some good like it, it, like from the slice of life angle, they are great. They they are fun to watch. The moment we start getting into battles, though, they start becoming a little bit more in the background, and I think that was my sort of main issue. With yeah. The, the characters uh but we'll dive more into that when we get into the actual discussion of the film story soon enough but i, I like i mentioned i want to go into the series because i don't think that's the main thing right now all i'm just seeing is as these characters within the films and given that this is the first movie there's not really much to go with because they're still at their early stages of development so you can't really get much out of it that's why I said I enjoy the slice of life angle a lot more because that's the most you can push out from these characters, and uh, mm-hmm. I think it did well on that angle. So I, I'll, I think that's pretty much all I can say on that part, and I'll pass it on to the next person. So, it's, and then we'll end it off with Richie, I believe. Yee. All right. So starting off with Serena, um, I thought it was very interesting that Pokemon. Um, decided, hey, let's have a, let's have the main girl have interest in Ash. I thought that was pretty new, and I, and I thought, oh, I wonder how they're gonna handle it. And obviously, I thought they handled it the way that I thought it, they would, in the sense that, oh, it's, because I thought Serena was just like a love magnet, magnet at first. But obviously, of course, um, it it wasn't entirely dependent on that. Obviously, she had a few other moments where she shined a bit, um. Like the episode where, um, where I think she got enough confidence during like the Rhyhorn race against her mother. I, I mean, uh, uh, thanks to Ash, of course, because you know they had mm-hmm. the they had the spot like that to highlight mm-hmm. the more shipping. But anyways, Serena as a character, um, I thought the the quote unquote reboot reboot of Serena as we're as we're apparently calling it. I thought that was a better character than the first one because obviously at that time um, she was going through like a new change and with that um, came in better development compared to the first phase but I don't know if I'm willing to say if it approved the entire picture like I don't know if if it's satisfying enough Um, because I mean she still is a decent character but it turns like development I'm like very hesitant to put it around like the top, even the middle. But, but we'll save that discussion for another time. Um, but overall, as far as Serena is concerned, decent character, just kind of iffy about the development. Um, so for Kumat, or yeah, Kumat, um, it, it, it's very hard to talk about who I like between the three main guys. And by three main guys, I mean you know Brock, Silent, and uh, Kumat. I think they're all 
very good in their aspects. Obviously, of course, they have some ve- they have similarities between one another, um, especially when it comes to cooking, which I think is just a Brock thing at that point that's just been passed on to everyone. Um, but as far as Komat, just by himself, um, I do agree that at the beginning or around the start, he obviously did not have like the confidence and a more of a steady steady way of being a character as he did when the when it got to the end um it kind of took a little bit of a while but i think it was around the i think it was around like the reboot time sort of uh for suing that where i think it, it got a little bit better for him um especially when um um especially when he when he had to leave them for a while anyways for a few episodes to go back to lumios for whatever reason um so so he definitely has similarities compared to the others, but as a standalone character without factoring in those those other qualities, I think he was a pretty he was a pretty interesting character. I really like him. Um and I definitely can tell that they were trying to take some of the things that made Brock great into Quimot and it turned out pretty well. Not Brock tier level, but he's not terrible. So overall, as far as Quimot is concerned, I like him. There's really not much error. And lastly, Bonnie. Um, obviously, of course, um, at the beginning, you probably heard me say, "Oh, better than Max." And you know, I'm not saying that just to. I'm not saying that for a meme, but I'm just saying um, that because it's fact. I just thought that she was a better developed kid compared to him, and she definitely had her her moments to shine, v- especially during the. Uh, during the final arc of the whole of the whole series, because um, that's where I think it it was really it, it was really better for her. Like she got her moment to shine, and it was executed pretty well. Like I'm not gonna say it's perfect because I don't think it was perfect, but but when but when it was her time to shine, she pretty much just she pretty much just did it an absolute fantastic job. Um, and obviously, of course. Uh, they had to they had to take in the uh, the uh, the misty part of the broad joke when it comes to love, and obviously made it a little bit different. Of course, instead of misty pulling a Brock, it was more the other way around. It's like, hey, go go date this woman, you know. Um, so I so they tried to do the same thing, but a little bit of a reversal set, and I thought it was executed pretty well because some of the moments were pretty funny. Um, well, most of them were. So with that being said. Um, the three characters, um, they were pretty, not bad. Like I say, they, they're not terrible. They're not great, but they're not, but I, I would say they're around like middle tier. I say they're pretty, pretty all right. So that's, those are my thoughts on those three characters. Okay. So in the future, I got to forget. Well, actually, I, this is the last time we'll have to do it because the uh, yeah. next generation. Next time they don't do that anymore. Yeah, yeah. The next generation won't do it. So, because I, I knew uh, people in the chat were mentioning. Oh, we're gonna do that for everyone's story. Well, we, we're, we're, gonna to, uh, we're not we're doing to, that. Yeah, we're gonna have to like do something though, because new characters are introduced in each movie. Yeah, every one of them. Yeah. I think we're, we just I, have I to think incorporate. We're just gonna, but, I think but we're gonna it won't be as long because they only exist within that yeah. movie. Yeah, because we don't have we don't have like hundreds of anime episodes to you know, yeah they're, yeah it's like i can't even so, remember so their, their stories kids, are their stories ash. are more are more condensed and linear yeah, yeah. i can't oh, remember the kids that travel also, with ash and talk, i choose you also when you talk about them Same. you're also gonna have to talk about the movie part too so i think it's better to just add their story into your you know into the character discussion like when you're talking yeah. about the yeah. character you're also going to talk about the movie yeah. it, won't, too. it won't be handled yeah. the same way but like and, and yeah. i, I and just, choose who has two characters oh, but we don't have a series to back them up they exist within the confines of the movie yeah and just yeah. To, and just to give people context we do this at the beginning of every generation movie so we did it in movie one we did it again in movie six, six. we did it again in movie we did it in every era but it's movie 10. Yeah. We did it in movie 10. 10 and movie 14. Movie... I think this is my first 14. time that I came 14. with what the beginning of the Yeah, movie Vanessa, you always came in the yeah, middle. I thought you were Dark Rye. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's movie 10. Yeah, oh, okay. Movie 10. So we, oh, we, only, okay. we only do it at the beginning of, of the first movie for that generation. So. Yeah, I thought. Oh, oops. Oh. Well, I guess in the end of the day, I guess with this sort of stuff. Uh... 
<laughs> yeah, we, we need to do yeah. this just to get the characters out of the way because they're new to the generation. We need right. Yeah, so, I mean, it's essential to that, the whole that's thing. That's why I yeah. said I, I kept my part for just the film itself because that's the only thing we're really going to talk about for the next three film reviews. So, so now, right. with all that out of the way, because I guess I can do mine real quick. Serena, I was pretty, I didn't finish X and Y, so Serena, pretty indifferent too. Clement felt like a downgrade because I prefer Silent as a character. And Bonnie was True. fine. I didn't have any issues uh, with Bonnie whatsoever. So now, we're just going to get into the general conversation about the film. So we skip all the bullshit and get into the fun stuff. Um, I guess the way we're going to just start this straight up. I, I for the most part, like this film. Um, I think my only issue is towards the end of it, where I think it kind of loses itself on the rails it re- this film is very similar to another film we reviewed where the only the main thing that makes this film to me is Deancey I like Deancey therefore the film is enjoyable um, yeah um I guess the first thing we could probably get into is Deancey herself any yay nay any because uh, I mean, she I like, is a yay in my she's book. basically yeah. what happens if you do shaman correctly well, the other thing is, once yeah, again, uh, the, 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 thing, the thing is, though, the thing is, though, it's it's one of the only it's the, one of the only characters in the Pokemon movies that don't have an annoying verbal tick. She, oh, she because, because basically, elegantly. she speaks out. El- yeah, she speaks like a, she speaks yeah. like a princess, but it's not like it, it's not like a verbal tick, like a Pokemon verbal tick that we've seen, you know. Yeah, like they don't have that little extra verb like nya or something dumb like that. Like <laughs> she, she speaks. She, she speaks. She speaks princess. like she speaks like a, a royalty. She yeah, yeah. Like, she's, she's, and I think that's she's so a charming. princess. Yeah, she's a great. princess, but she doesn't sound entitled, bratty, or snooty. Yes, which is what I what I what I thought this movie was gonna head towards. Because, like, normally when anime, a lot of anime, and I blame Naruto the most for this. Um, when they have Not a the princess, <laughs> yeah. When they no, when they have a princess involved with the plot, the main character has to get them somewhere, and they're a bitch the whole journey it's not until something big happens where they're like oh i'm sorry i was such a bitch earlier and then it's they come together like, to be fair, i don't like hate that it. i don't it's hate like that all the fucking time to be fair yeah, I, don't, but I don't hate I'm it but it's, it's redundant it's super redundant that's the problem it suffers from well i don't hate it but it's been used so much I mean. it's, it's refreshing it's, it's yeah it's refreshing to see that diancy wasn't that she was just very she was very clueless like, at a lot of yeah, things she, she's yeah. very but, but i think she, that's the charm no, she was not, no, 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 no she no she obviously did arrogant. not she no, she she obviously did not know anything about the outside world. That's why she had to exactly. Ask yeah. a lot of questions. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. what, is, what is a what is a friend? What is yeah. um let me see. Uh what what is a friend? What, what is, is a, a robber? Thief? Yeah. A thief, yeah. Right. Like TS has nailed it right on the head. She's clueless, but she's clueless for a reason, and they actually use that to develop her character along the way. Yeah, she didn't even naive. know like she didn't even know like the origins of why she does what she does. She just knows she has to restore the diamond heart. Then once she learned that, she just was like, "Okay, I'll do it." But they yeah, kept so- it. they also allowed her to be pre- pretty cute because she yeah. was still mischievous in her own way. Where it's like, we right? Need, we need to go. We need to go find Xerneas. And it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna go do that. And then she wanders off into a town. Yeah. Like yep. because I, she's like, "Ooh, what's this?" Yeah, and she's all like that. a young girl, kind of like. Experiencing. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean young. I mean, a young princess. I mean, that's what. That's what. That's yeah. exactly what the character is portrayed as, and they nailed it. Right. You know like, what's I'm the so perfect example? You know what's the perfect example of her whole royalty shtick that I really love. Why? Now, formally, uh, you know, t- say that you guys are my friends. Like she does it in such like a royalty esque way. Well, the no, way no, in, in, in the Japanese, in the Japanese version, she uses the she uses um, the verb that means "I allow you to." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that, that's I what I love about it. Like she's it's granting like, permission. Like she's it's, it's almost permission. like she. Not I allow. Enough. I allow you to be my friend. I grant you permission to be my amigos. And, yeah, it, and then you see the gang just laughing about it too because it's so funny. That's what I love. It's almost and, like she knighted them. I mean, she, mm, yeah, that's hey. like I kind of felt like. Go ahead, Vanessa. No, that's what I felt like too when I went for it's her. But she kind of remind me of another character I seen from another movie, like actually from another Disney movie, because it was around. I think it wasn't too long ago when I saw that movie. And I was like, she reminded me so much of that. Um, but I remember when Disney Channel used to use 
just to do the you know like the Disney movies every every month or so. So she reminded me from that princess from that princess protection program when I when I saw Beyonce. Oh wow, that's like, that's a, that's a hell but of a oh wow, I have to watch that movie now just to see. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back, guys. Hey, <laughs> hey. So let's move on. I saw her. Let's go, <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. So, I guess, oh, apparently you sound like Cynthia, Vanessa. Uh, <laughs> I was reading the... Wait, I was reading which the, Cynthia? I get from Pokemon. What do you mean, which what Cynthia? What the hell? The, the, yeah, I thought we were... Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's only one Cynthia you can make a reference No, there's the Detective Pikachu. Oh, God. No, shut up. <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing it. We're not doing this. Vanessa, how do you feel knowing you're the Gen 4 champion? She's magical. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been compared to a Gen 4 champion, so I'm honored. To be fair, most people objectively say she's the best champion. Uh, yeah, she is. For good oh, reasons. <laughs> well, of course, Vanessa <laughs> says it. She's fucking voicing her, apparently. <laughs> I know she's becoming a voice actress. No. Nah. <laughs> uh-huh. So... I will get this movie. I think one of the things it does well, it reminds me of doing. This reminds me a lot of Generations uh, of the Keldio movie a lot, where it's short, yeah. it's pretty focused in. Uh, although this film is a little bit more bloated than that movie was, but still. Mm-hmm. But and the one thing I give it a lot of credit for, and this was what surprised me because this is my first time watching it, is that they tried to play to the strengths of every character. Every character had their main gimmick or a moment in here, like. Yeah. Uh, you gave yeah. Serena kind of watching over Ash when he's talking to Deancey. Uh, Citron with the ladder. Bonnie in the beginning with the whole Sifu play and having and getting the diamond from Deancey. Trying mm-hmm. to be his friend and everything. Yep. Oh, the right horn thing is what threw me. What yeah, the, the right horn racing. I, got horn so nice. I, like I give that. it a lot of credit because it was pretty. It was it was faithful to all these characters and what they had shown yes. up until this point. So. Mm-hmm. That, I, I really appreciated that personally. I like when they just decided to chill and change clothes. Actually, yeah, yeah in the mall. The, I think the best yeah. thing about this film... Oh, yeah, it, the mall this, scene. This, this, yeah. This, it's not just only this film. There are other films within the past, but I think this film does a really good structure when it comes to actually adventuring. Because you see these characters go from place to place, from the mall in a bus to the boat in the forest outside within the streets like they're actually traveling and you feel that adventure as the they're going car. through the world and it, yeah. it, i think that's the best thing i love about this film it's just being able to see these characters slowly go from location mm-hmm. to location oh. and do something significant that makes it important to the story plot I'm and also they don't they don't waste gonna, a lot of, go ahead didn't they didn't waste a lot of time in um in shuffling from scene to scene too i thought that the t- that the movie was well paced for what it yeah. is I um, agree, actually. So I, yeah. I was going to say, I agree with that, with TSS in the sense that this movie is well-paced. I disagree with KG slightly because I don't necessarily like the fact that they're traveling giant distances in insanely short time. Like, there's no sense of distance for me because you, it jumps so much. They're on, like, literally every form of transportation except for a fucking plane. They're on boats. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Bus. <laughs> They're like walking through caves. We're on a boat, it, Pikachu. Shut up. No. <laughs> uh, it, it's, just, it, it's just too much. It just It's too much. There's so much shifting so quick. It kind of comes off jarring to me, especially when I've seen other films where the whole purpose of the film was a one trip where they're driving in a bus for an entire movie or some shit like the Lucario film versus this film that got you going from six different modes of transportation and they've made it to the area before the movie's even done. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's one of the one of the small things that kind of bugged me though was when they were in the mall and Diancie's running away from the elder Carbinks because it's like we have about three villains that are chasing Diancie. You mean to tell me the only thing that could possibly chase her in this area is the Carbinks? Uh yeah, because what well, what you're gonna have them? What you're gonna have them come through the roof and fucking break the fucking yeah? It's a uh, roof is on fire, yo. I guess I everyone mean, well, they, That's why they attacked outside the mall. Why would they, as villains, go into a secure location Bruh. to get their yeah, asses handed to them I mean, to one second fair, after breaking the fucking ceiling? It's fine, Tyro, 
<laughs> to, to be fair, one of them's a ninja, so I didn't expect him to crash the building. Ninja. But I kind of did expect him to like try to put in more effort in chasing Diancy. We don't see the villains really appear again until after they're done traveling. No, they appeared after the mall scene. Yeah. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like, did, that's yeah. after no, the, but that was literally soon after. Like it, it continued on with the pacing. Like they, they knew where to carry. And I know they, were. they tried they to couldn't do anything. I know they tried to creation. ship two of these villains together. No, I that we know. We need to, we need to talk about the villains, Bruh, This is the most. This is probably one of the weirdest feelings I've had towards villains in a while in a Pokemon film, because they're not so over stereotypically evil. Like some other Pokemon films, but Just they're also not like flat out yeah. goofy like in yeah. other films. And I kind of remember just kind of watching the movie being like, what are your, is your purpose literally just to move the plot along? Because I don't really like, they, they don't, they're not developed enough for me to care except for the one gimmick about. Well, uh, I mean, I mean, to be fair, all they were looking for is the ANSI's, uh ability to create diamonds. But this also yeah, yeah, pretty much. I they want to want to But I felt some type of way afterwards, especially when it, it, later on in the movie when she get when she gets because the because you got to remember because you got to remember the the folk the folklore about Diancy is known throughout that city. Oh no no, I don't and have an issue with that. I'm saying yeah. like after a certain point, especially after she gets the power from the fairy aura from Xerneas, and then she's mm. like, "I'll make you the diamonds. Just let me go back home and save my people or whatever." I kind of felt like the chase. This was unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. Like it comes off yeah. like it, it doesn't need to happen this way. Yeah. So it, I, I, it, to, it to me. And then the, which gets I think into the my, chest side. Yeah, but I think yeah, the but then, but, but, but to be, but to worst. be fair, you had to. Yeah, but to be, yeah, but to be fair, you had to have some sort of kind of closure between the villains that you introduced in the first half of the film into the second half. And what you got to do is the climax comes there, and all of a sudden you have the exciting incident happening later on in the film, and that causes kind of like the jerk, the jerk of the plot. I don't know. It just I, it felt jarring to me more in I, this film. Than I, 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 I felt the chest. I disagree with that. I, and, I felt the chest. Which also made the, the most and what, offensive. And to me, what makes it hurt, what makes it worse, is that at the end of the film, in the credits, they show, oh, they've all taken up normal jobs, and the two of them are getting married, and I'm like. Based All off right. of what? Because yeah, I was actually home. gonna ask that. I was gonna ask that about those two, about the Grin, that Greninja and that Delphox trainer. Yeah. I was like, yeah, because they fell in love in the movie, and I was wondering, like, like, there's something else happening. Didn't, didn't the guy propose to her or something? Yeah, he pro he proposed yeah. in the credits. Yeah. Well, okay, well, and it was like, that. I mean, I'm happy for that. I guess only well, like well, two well, scenes to, to show that all that oh they were they were kind of chatty with each other in the beginning of the film, and he caught her and protected her. I mean. Well, you also have to remember that the that the that the climax of the film they pretty much died together yeah. in their arms. Yeah, they caught together. Uh, yeah, I just died in your arms tonight. Must have you, you been. Couldn't help I yourself, mean, could you couldn't help yourself, could you? I'm gonna get copyright strike. TSS's defense. I'm gonna say to TSS's defense. Yeah, we're gonna get copyrighted. One of the big, um, one of the big. If we're looking at this from a human perspective, one of the biggest moments that people can bond in is usually in a moment of danger. Yes. Because, yes, because the, the danger increases the adrenaline. It increases like because it's the perspective of your life. It's literally ending or is about to end, and we get desperate or we do stuff that we normally would take longer to do because it's your life we're dealing with. So yeah, they both did die. So they experienced something that more than likely no other two people would ever experience together: death together. I like how so people I can are making see. jokes in the comments. I'm dying. Will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was so, basically it. So, be my so, girlfriend. Or be so, my so to TSS's defense, that does make sense how I can see a relationship established without the elongated development that you know, a normal relationship would require. You know what my problem Also, they assumed they were going to die in the moment, but they and, didn't think. And, and in the movie, they had. So when they came back to life, they're like, me? okay, you admit it. You know what bothers me is that these what? characters obviously have past and history. Yeah, I would say they have history. See. So it feels like missed potential. I think that's my big, big issue with but, it. But, like, Probably. where could they have squeezed it without making the film longer? I don't know, because, hey, listen, the film is short. Yeah, you could have made weird. the film longer. No, because it was being used by the Pikachu short. 
Fuck the Pikachu so short. Give me a better film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say fuck the Pikachu short too, but I can't because it's existing right now. No, <laughs> you, you, that sounds well, like a cop that's, out. That's a bad he, reason to, to not Terrell, expand Terrell the film. is Mon Terrell is Monday night, Monday night quarterbacking, but he is right. Like if the the Pikachu film, I like it. Yeah, the Pikachu film is unnecessary, but it unfortunately happened. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There, there's nothing that I can do about it because oh, no, what happened, I'm, I'm not blaming you specifically for it. I'm just saying that's just my qualm with the film. Also, I think the ending's kind of dumb in some ways. Not the whole ending, just certain parts of it. The first thing is, oh, Pikachu turns to, to stone and then immediately gets revived literally in the next scene. Like, yeah, it, like it wasn't even like dragged out or anything. Very anticlimactic. That felt like you were well, checking, I, a well, checking a mark off in a box. Because it happens well, back well, to back. Flight, well, to, to, to be fair also, I mean, they actually paced it where it ended up starting to die like five minutes later. Which yeah, actually because was it got like pretty hit by an attack. Yeah, it was hit by an attack and they, and they, and they flashed back to that. No, no, and I actually I, enjoyed that. Listen, it's, it's, the, it's the stereotypical like uh, near death moment that a lot of the Pokemon films like to do. I'm so used to it. That's not really my issue. My issue is that if Pikachu's going to die, it shouldn't come right before it's healed again. It's like, it's so, the scenes are literally right next to each other. It creates, it's like false tensions. Like, I'm supposed to care. We never marinate on the fact that Pikachu's dead. Yeah, like, it's, it's so, and you know what? And you know what bothers me more is another missed potential moment. Earlier in the film, Ash does that whole, don't cry, uh, uh, Deancey. Because crying doesn't get you anywhere. It would have been good if you had had a moment in reverse where Pikachu's just been killed and Deancey says the same thing to Ash. Mm -hmm. and I kind of wish he did it sooner in the film, to be honest. Like, the part where Pikachu gets, like, killed. Because I thought he a few times it would get hit, but I was, like, wondering, I was like, when does he get hit? I was, like, kept wondering the entire time. Yeah, it happens too late in the film, and it happens right next to Xerneas <laughs> yeah, being was, like, yeah, I'm bringing everyone back. Well, damn. Yeah, that's like the part I kind of got annoyed. At the from, cost of my like, own kinda... life. <laughs> one, one thing I do. Oh, fuck that. That was the other thing. For like 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> right. Yeah. And one thing. No, Zernius remained it. dead after that. That's that the thing. was such a stupid. Oh, I'm talking about Pikachu. That seemed like I'm just, the Zernius thing just seemed dumb to me. Why? Why? No, because I, I assume what's happening is that Xerneas needed to provide so much energy to bring everything that Eevee has committed within the forest back to life, including the plants, they, the humans that got into stone, the, the movie, Pokemon. And that must have drained its energy and had to convert into, for some reason, well, the, well the movie well, explains it differently. Well, the thing is, the thing is, Deancey says, it, it got got the, got, she got the freaking um, the telepathy saying, I'm not, I'm not dying. Yeah. The movie. Yeah, she like just converted to something else. It's that whole. Yeah, it just went to it. It went to a cool down state. It's like a rebirth. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I, one thing, I, one thing I do want to uh, comment on, though, since we did talk about the legendaries, I will say Eveltal, while it shows up so late in the movie, it definitely does bring a level of like we can definitely appreciate the level of ominism that Eveltal brings to the movie. I'm actually kind of glad that it was introduced this late because it kills literally everything when it shows up. I'm, it would have been yeah, cool to have seen Eveltal attack the I don't have any, and actually, everything. I, I no, no, I appreciated I that. The one thing I didn't understand is how easily Xerneas was able to calm it, and it just, like, walked, flew away. It was really like, we traded blows, and then I said something to you that we never hear. All right, I'm good now. I'm, I'm like, going to just fly to this other region. And like, it, 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 almost, it, almost, it almost felt like, <laughs> it felt like the <laughs> clock was ticking. Well, here's the thing. The fairy aura cured it. It, it, it calmed it down. Well, I've always what? figured that Eveltal is the Pokemon of destruction. And, it, like, Eveltal is doing its job as the Pokemon of destruction. It's not a matter of if it's evil or angry or anything. It's yeah. just, it's literally doing its job. It's all things that must be uh, be created must also be destroyed. Basically, it's death. Like, whatever yeah, it touches, like, death. Like, like, hi, I'm death. Yeah, like, yeah. it's not trying to kill everything. A fire doesn't try to spread, but it has to. Mm hmm I don't know. It's, just, it's almost like it's almost like Eveltal was more or less a natural disaster, more or less than yeah. a villain. 
I didn't think it was. My That's business, what it was, pretty much. Honest. Yeah, it was a natural disaster. It was. A, it was a. It was a a uh, disaster of nature, which a disaster of nature has no target. It just destroys. <laughs> yeah, I guess like everything it touches, like everything turned to stone. Exactly. Like, you can't read like, because it is it the breathes? representation of yeah. It, right, it is the representation of death. Well, to me, yeah. at that point, then I don't see the, the why Xerneas talking to it would have made a difference. I think it was just a level of like it cancels it out since Xerneas' yeah. whole deal is creation. Creation and death sort of cancel each other out because you can't create and then kill and then in the same state. Something the games can't die needed to do a better born. job with this shit, man. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's that's true. True. I mean, the yeah. games were terrible. I feel like, so. I feel like yeah. the latter end of the film and to going towards the climax was too short for its own good and could have been expanded to make it less not anticlimactic. I guess I would say less <laughs> disjointed in a way. I feel like and more of a threat too. Well, then it, I, it just has weird elements to yeah. it. Like, like even you be they, honest. Go ahead. Uh, to be uh, sorry. To be honest, though, I kind of wish the fairy aura was explained more because they just kind of it's just True. assumed to us. It's assumed to, they didn't want us to assume us to believe like, oh, that's it cures the death part like after what uh, Yveltal did. So it well, was like. Well, I thought I thought I thought the um, I thought the beginning and also towards the middle with a D or die or a die explained it pretty well. And how, you know, Evatel's, you know, fairy aura saved everybody when, yeah, when, uh, just, when it was... Yeah, but then it's just, yeah. as, it just assumed, it just made you assume, though, that's like, it's like, that's like... Yeah, that's but it's better, yeah, but it's better than freaking movie 12 where they have to explain the fucking plot three times. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> Right. And go back in time too. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I also think yeah. I will. One thing I will say about the fairy aura, though, while it like Ness is right, it's it, it should have been explained better. But it does back up the reason of why Diancy is a fairy type, rather than the game needed more fairy types because fairy types was introduced this region. Mm-hmm. And this is your account. Like, how is how is that gonna you know? help with the ending part of the film though like because i'll say this like the beginning i probably would say the beginning and middle of the film i don't really have any issues with maybe if they were good at storytelling to me it's primarily the ending of it and the because i feel like the villains are underused or under explained that's what i'll say the villains are under explained to me and i think just the final interactions with even tall and and uh yeah don't it literally the way in the if you watch the film it feels like literally I just destroyed a bunch of shit. Zerius comes in and goes, "Hey," and then whispers something that we never hear. And Zerius like, "All right, bye," and like, oh. and then, oh by the way, I guess I'll save everybody and die in the process or reborn. Or re- Great or, or plug. I'll, I'll become a phoenix bird and just. Uh, I'll like be it, dormant. It, it, yeah. does, it doesn't feel like it flows well. Like it feels I like, think like yeah. Yeah. in the in the in the issue, like I say, with the Pikachu having it be it, it die and then be revived within it like was just a, a minute of two each seconds other. later. Yeah, it it just takes away from the seriousness in the in the in the in the moment. Like I can't feel bad because it's already being revived by the time I start feeling bad about it. Also, I think it would have been better, honestly. Do this all the time. It was like, just a gimmick, my Like, dude. even when Ash was turned into stone for a while, we we had a moment to, like, absorb yeah, what happened. The first and Pikachu, one. yeah, Pikachu's, like, shocking yeah. Ash and trying to do everything he can to wake him up. And so then you were we wanting Ash first, to punch the, Pikachu to see if it would no, react? To no, no. Because no. he can use electric attacks. The first so it has film to... will let it marinate. Yes. Yeah, it let it marinate. It's like, yeah. like all right. Pikachu's dead, and then it's like we don't even have, we only have like two three seconds to like process it, and then the next thing you know, it's alive again. So it's like- Remember in Pokemon Movie Four when Celebi died, and Ash kept trying to feed it berries, but it kept bopping off of its face. That was a good yeah. moment. That yeah, was, was moment. that is an example of what I'm talking about. That's the kind of shit that works because it's paced out properly. It, it it's not like a few I- seconds and it's over. It's like a good few minutes, and you're like, oh yeah. shit. Yeah, there's it's no dead. music. Yeah, there's no music. There's nothing. It's just yeah. you got to take in the fact that this character is not coming back. Ash is over here still talking to it. Like, come on, Celebi, you love berries. Pop the berries that, not even going in its mouth because it's made it dead. Sad. Yeah, yeah, because dead. he couldn't cope with the fact that he's dead. Basically, at that yeah, fact, and he had yeah. to talk himself out of it to make right. It he, he was he was in denial. Yeah. Yeah, you know what would have been more effective, honestly, with the ending part of this film, had the like uh, what Terrell mentioned before, had the whole Evie Toll thing sort of been doing like one by one 
sort of situation where it does actually start hitting everybody, but one by one. So you get situations where like that Delphox trainer gets hit first, and then now that Delphox has to work with the ninja and the Greninja for a bit before they eventually get hit bit by bit. And that also carries on into like Pikachu where, you know, where Pikachu got tipped by the tail for a moment. Like that would have been cool mm-hmm. to have seen Pikachu get hit there and then at that moment turn into stone. And then what you Terrell know, mentioned before about the whole, oh, you know, don't don't cry because it's not going to help you whole situation. And that sort of like has to get all these characters to try to figure some form of a plot out. Yeah. I, like, you know, because I think I think I, I think I think though I think though the way that they handle that, I mean, some people don't like it. But I think, but I think it's good because then, then it makes you like double, double think about you know what the hell happened. Because, because then, because then if, because the problem with doing that is it's too fucking predictable. Mm-hmm. You want to have still predictable that, though. That's the problem. Yeah, that I mean, yeah. But the thing is though, you have to have certain elements that aren't as predictable as what you think. Because then, because then what the then what the then what the fuck's the point of uh, you know them jumping over shit? Yeah, after but it, after it, it gets hit. Me, it's like the there's, a good, there's, a, there's a difference between a good twist and a bad twist or a twist that that creates like whoa that creates a bunch of questions and intrigue versus whoa that seemed random as fuck like you there are two ways you can process it and it's all about the way it's executed um just a subtle suggestion i had for ex- for my issue with the the uh villains where you can tell they all have their own little history and the relationship, I think the mo- the daughter and father group is probably the better handled of the three of them. But what you could have done is having them have an interaction, do like a quick maybe two or three minute back flashback to a moment where they interacted when they were younger, flip back in time, and do that yeah, occasionally. It wouldn't have worked. No, it would not have worked. Why? Because the, oh, the plot twist. That's right. When she was the, the good character twist. before yeah, she yeah, ended that, the plot twist. I, I still believe that was handled very piss poorly. It's, yeah, it's oh, not, yeah, it's but like, they couldn't have done well. a flashback to have Because that also they comes off very, like, well, why are they helping? I hate yeah. the whole, oh, I'm, now I'm evil now. <sighs> no, she was always evil. Well, it, wasn't, was it wasn't even like now I'm evil. It's because, it, once again, they're not, they're not, the movie doesn't portray them evil enough. Like, they even talk about how they like Ash because of, his, like, because of his recklessness and whatnot. Like, they're, they're so in the middle of between, be, between being either goofy as extreme mm. Or like cold evil that they right. never that See? like moments don't work as well because they're in the middle. That's why I said just flushing them out would have been enough for me to be like, oh, I like these characters because they have good designs. I like the fact that they all use different starters. And they but then again, like, then again, though, at the beginning, at the beginning, you knew that that something was going on because they were kind of like talking. I don't know how to dub handle it, but they were kind of talking in a very like serious tone. Um, it, when they were in the ship, so in that case, they actually the, the the kind of the plot twist makes more sense in that respect. Right. I don't know how I don't know how to dub handle it. Maybe to dub handle it less of a less of an ominous tone, and that's probably yeah. why people. What that probably, happened in that moment they were together um, by themselves in the first scene? Yes. Okay. Because because that's because the scene yeah. they got cut off. Yeah. I think. That's the, yeah, that's the scene that got yeah. cut off, and that's why I say they got cut out. Yeah, yes. see, I was, I, yeah, that was the scene that got cut off. That's that's, that's what made me switch to Japanese. Yeah, and that's and that's what it is. You see, then when you watch it with that specific scene, then it makes sense. And then then the later well, on, like the I twist, said, it that, makes sense. I think the month, I think the daughter, and actually uh, Azura Samurai brings up a, an interesting idea, because the guy, because the, the the father and daughter group seems to be the most flushed out, even when the guys like. Listen, Ash, I, I appreciate you saving us before, so we're going to attack the Evatol for you. Like, essentially, they're trying to pay back a debt. Going into the fact that these guys are honored, or well, at least the dad is very honor-bound. That's the kind of shit I appreciate. There's just not a lot of it. And that, but like I said, they're the most fleshed out. Doing, I don't think it would have hurt that, because the, because the, the, oh, I betrayed you moment wasn't really a shocking moment like it's 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 so right it's telegraphed and if anything oh look all three channels ha- all happen to have start fully of all starter pokemon and they know each other but the but the third one's the good one eh, i don't know about that Spoiler nah. alert, they're not that's what i'm saying like it's it's that kind of stuff like no it was it was kind of no it was kind of it was kind of like the blurred lines kind of thing and it, like i said yeah. you know, after watching in japanese it makes sense because 
the way that they talked in that ship scene, and then you kind of had the kind of uh, then then you kind of had like a one way kind of communication with the ante after the clock tower scene, and that's what I it was, see. and that's what and that's what it was. Um, okay. They didn't really explain it, but you can kind of infer. Or again, you have to you have to do a lot of inferring with this, and if you can't do that then you're not going to enjoy this movie but i did yeah. i thought it was i thought it was pretty decent how they handled it even though some people will disagree with that yeah you I, know, I, I respect your, i respect your opinion i just i personally disagree that's okay. hey, you, you want to know one of the things i thought was kind of interesting to me about this and we're just what? reeling back not from the villains but from diancy herself because mm -hmm. remember bonnie receives that diamond the the small one she holds Mm -hmm. And in the end, isn't that the diamond, the very same one that glows when Diancy turns into our mega form? Yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this yeah. is the this this movie is coming right after Jin and Scent, where both movies have a Pokemon that can mega evolve. Mewtwo mega evolves into uh Mewtwo mega. Y, and uh, Diancy evolves into Mega Diancy. We know what causes Mega Evolution this time, though, so we have more knowledge. I feel like this movie handled Mega Evolution excruciatingly better yeah. than the Mewtwo's because Mewtwo's just transformed. At least this, we can argue that Di that Bonnie inadvertently Mega evolved Diancy with the stone. I mean, technically, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah I would and I feel yes, that's handled a thousand times better considering the situation of both of these mm -hmm. Pokemon don't belong to trainers, but can mega evolve. I agree. I feel like, yeah, it was a lot better handled too. Cause I was, I remember, I remember the scene you're talking about. And I was like, Oh shoot. Like the diamond that they, that Deontay created for Bonnie and it actually stayed like, cause she was like, afraid that they're going to lose it. Like, I mean, I think that's, I think that's a, I think that's a gave, great full circle moment too. Yeah. Uh, unintentionally mm -hmm. Diancy gave Bonnie a keystone. Yeah, and I like that, and I love the subtlety of it, and I love how these are two Pokemon, Mewtwo and Diancie, both legendary Pokemon, not owned by trainers, but both can Mega Evolve. But this is an example of how you do it. This is mm. an example of how how it should have been treated in Mewtwo. So, congrats to the movie for making me believe in Diancie's Mega Evolution. And Woo! I actually think, and I actually thought, you know, how in the last movie. Oh, and was, also like, it gives Bonnie development. Yeah, no, also you know, now that you're biased, you need it. You know how also in the last movie how like they were just in one location like they didn't really utilize like the entire they yeah. the whole background and this time around they actually did like they kind of correct they used the all last the movie. location and, and it's like because it, it was like gorgeous like the areas and everything like the forest the malls like um, yeah the city, that, like, it was they're run through really quickly but they're used but when you actually are in the environments they're, they're believable. Mm. Yeah, it was like way more believable versus the last one where like they're sitting in that freaking dome for the entire time. Right. Okay. Music. Okay. Music. No, no music. That music sucks in the dub. Why, 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 why. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, yeah. But the music in the dub is horrible, so uh, yeah. I guess we'll talk they, about. Yeah, but you guys already know that with this composer. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's like I remember John said this way back in his review of the movie. They were using like happy music when Evita was killing everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, then well, I guess they, I guess it, is it up to TSS to talk about the Japanese? Though, yeah, I'm saying yeah. talk about oh. the Japanese score. Oh, I got a question though before you get to the Japanese score. Did yeah. did they did they sing? And a theme song in the Japanese version in the beginning of the movie? Or yes. What? Yes, okay. because the dub for some reason was missing yeah, that vocal part. Well, 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 the dub um, used gotta Ebo, catch them all. Ebo actually mentions that the CN cut has no lyrics, but the one later the on, release the did. official release, they did. Yeah. All right, well, um, I can okay. see now, I will say this. Um, Megavolt cinema version is probably the worst version of... Uh, Damn! Uh, yeah, the worst Golly. version of the song. Because it sounds like it, it sounds like somebody they rushed. Is, <laughs> well, no, it's it's not it's not that. There's as many problems with it. Um, number one, um, the the part of the the parts of the songs where the, the part of the song the parts of the song where um, he rattles off all the types. Um, it, it, it he does like the remit, you know, the kind of like the the stuttering effect of kind of like you know the the vocal stuttering the, the, and it sounds and, and it sounds like and it sounds like a going in through like premiere and having the freaking computer freeze that's what it sounds mm -hmm. like also also <laughs> on the dvd also on the two point also on the 2.0 mix for the japanese dvd 
um, the vocals are so far panned out with the vocal the, during that section that the vocals actually disappear and actually hmm. become they actually they actually flange themselves and cancel out oh and that God. makes wow. it the worst version. Interesting. Yeah, so that's so that's one reason. That's probably that's probably one of the worst openings for the entire films, in my opinion. God damn. Yeah, it's really bad. I don't like it. In terms of like the vocal, right? Because I could think of another one as far. Yeah, the vocal. Yeah, the vocal themes. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so yeah. Uh, um, However, however, um, um, Bu Segun, the scandal song. That's one of my favorites. Actually, I had the ringtone for my mother. Calling like for many years because it was a great, it was a great song. Ooh, nice. Oh, Scandal wow. was one of my favorite bands at the time because yeah, they did also the uh, the Bleach uh, final opening of the series, which is one of my favorite goddamn songs of that time. And to see them come into a Pokemon series for the film theme was absolutely marvelous. I, I yeah, love it. So yeah, it's no Ryu Seigun. Yeah, it's 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 a special song, and I think the yeah. the animation that was. Song yeah. playing worked well. And the dub, didn't they just use a remix version of the modern Gotta Catch Em All theme? No, they did their own official ending theme song. No, the opening theme for. Oh, the opening act was, yes. Yeah, because remember, X and Y dub's opening first one was yeah. literally the was original Gotta theme Catch Em All. Yeah, but it was like so, a yeah. 2000, 2014 Gotta Catch Em All. Yeah, and then they did the 2014 movie. Similar movie to how Pokemon Gotta Movie catch 1 all. did them. Mm, okay. Yeah. Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-
That's probably it's why. The, the anime <laughs> variation. That that's why. I thought the anime variation. Yeah, right, but yeah, the anime yeah. variation is part. Is, it's from yeah, it's, it's from Masuda. the games. Like it's, it's yeah. Masuda's, yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, I was thinking, it was like, I was like, I remember hearing from the anime they used it. That was the only one they usually kept. Yeah, but uh, in terms of the OST, yeah, there's not really much to go to gush about, but it does a okay job with setting they the were, mood. In terms there of were a few track, there were a few tracks in there that I really love, but other than that, it's pretty decent. My favorite tracks were the ones from the short out of like the two. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. like I'm telling you. But where Steam was technically introduced in the. Oh, oh, yeah, the oh okay. Well, in that case, well, in that case, except that's a fine answer. Yeah. So there we <laughs> go. It's a badass <laughs> OST because it has Beware in it. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ten out oh, of ten OSTs. Gotta love the bear. <laughs> yeah, I gotta love the pink bear, man. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there, there's nothing else for me to really talk about for no. the film because I mean, like, yeah. I feel like we tackled every topic yeah, I right think now. Yeah, we covered also, the majority of everything. Pretty much. Yeah. My, oh, my, my, my last thing I just want to say about also, this, we did not, we did not mention the rockets. They actually. Yeah, did that, that's what I was about to go bring yeah. up. Yeah. Because they were, they were, out of all the characters Shit, introduced, they were the lamest. That's why. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they actually did, yeah, but they actually did something in this movie instead of just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, that's true. In a way, Actually, they were the ones that introduced the whole diamonds yeah. being converted Actually, be back honest, into though, dust eventually. Actually, if you get on Team Rocket, though, actually, one of my favorite parts of the movie is when, when uh, Team um, Team Rocket was asking Beyonce to make the diamonds, and then she was just like, well, I don't refuse and try to walk out of them. And yeah, she just like, casually hops away. <laughs> and she's yeah. like, like, I'll speak with you later. Bye. I appreciate <laughs> that. That's funny as hell, though. It reminded me of it reminded me of way back in Pokemon Movie 2000 when they were like, prepare for trouble, make it double. Ash like, I'll have to catch this on videotape. <laughs> 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 I thought that was funny, so that was like one of my favorite moments in um, in the movie. I was cracking up with that yeah. that thing. Jeez. And that's what I mean. Like in terms of like the main plot itself, I have issues with. But when it comes to just the small moments, it is so good. Like uh, as mentioned before, you know the time at night when they're camping and you see Ash and Yancy looking up at the stars, making a so, wish together, and then Serena's mm-hmm. in the background watching the two. To the boat scene when they get splashed by water, you see them in their varying outfits, which look really cool. Honestly, yeah, I, would I love that. It. Yeah, like, I think Ash looks the best when he's, like, designed like that without the hat. I know. Screen. He I looks like, great. They should, they should do more, like, different variations for the characters. When, yes. Ash, when Ash's hair is low-key Goku's. Yeah, basically. And then, you know, the mall scene when they're just there at the clothing shop changing various clothes. Diancy too. You see my, uh, Bonnie and Serena joining in on the fun. That's really great to watch. Those are things I love because it... It just tackles things that I'm a fan of. So in terms of and, that part, I really got a good kick out of it. And, yeah, there's like the, there's a lot of small moments. That was like like you're saying. That was the part I enjoyed the most in the movie too. And then also I kind of remember for not Mall Saint Ash was like, "Are you done yet with the shopping?" And they're like, yeah. "And it works so well because that's his sort of character. He doesn't <laughs> it like he's got no patience. Like, that's what it is. Movie. Yeah." yeah. And I, I love the moment when, like, as we mentioned before, with the whole ladder thing, where, like, he's on the very top of the ladder, gi- giving no shits whatsoever about the danger that surrounds him being all the I way up there at top of the mall because he wants to go save yeah, Nancy. Pre- we ain't got yeah, time for much. that. Come on now. And then he, got time for that shit. he does the whole Halucha <laughs> bit where he just grabs on Halucha's leg and just slowly How is he holding down. that weight, yo? Trying to be a hero. How is Halucha? Come on, logic, dude. Listen, Halucha. Halucha, 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 <laughs> Which is weird too. You wanna know what's weird is because Ash is super strong in this series too. Fletchender is on his arm and Fletchender weighs a crap ton. Yeah, yeah. How do you know yeah, what crap bird. weighs, nice. Tyrone? Like oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yeah. that, Ness, Nessa, the amount of weight you said he was is perfect. Yeah, that's the one. How much? Yeah. About 50 kilograms? Yes, he's 50 kilograms. Yeah, I'm American. Like about that something pounds. Uh, oh, okay, one million pounds. Let's go with that. No. <laughs> That's a big ass it's a bird. bird. Yeah, it's a fat bird. I can't Actually, wait until Thanksgiving. About... What? Wow. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> That's legal, yes. Hey, man, That's legal. I can, I can shoot that bird. It's fine. Oh my it's god. 30, the, funny thing is, the funny thing is, Lucha Bull, Lucha Bull's debut like, episode comes around the same time as the movie debuts in the theater. So, so do you think new. that this was like literally right as he caught it? 
Yes. Yeah, uh, moments cool. after he yes. caught it, really. That's yeah. why he didn't beat Absol. Piece of shit. Right. He, he's too No, new. see, that, that's the whole reason with the Callous League, why we wanted to see that redemption shit. I because the main... The, okay, I'll bring this up no, right now. The don't do it. The girl that's opening of this Turn film get him. is the exact same girl I, as the I one can't. in the Callous... It, it, no, it's true. She's the same one in the Callous League. Yeah, she's I, the know same. She's, I know she's the same one. That's not the point. And then she, she doesn't have, like, 10 seconds of screen time in that episode. And, like, the first... 15 seconds she gets her ass kicked by um, by her absol which then goes into a mega absol which then suddenly goes back to absol and then back to mega absol and then faints there I which apologize. i, I, I we, that animation error. we meant to put the chain on kg we couldn't let him oh goodness I knew the ex- that was just ex- it eggs and wise controversial the conversations tend to happen a lot it's all yeah, right fucking pitbull we're fine. Yeah, we're fine so i guess we can just go on the final rating i mean i do like the small continuity that she's the same one though they could have picked any other trainer for ash to fight they yeah. chose the same one from the movie so the movie technically is one one you, one oh, you want to know, you know why that was good go on richard because that's the rare realm of xy having continuity all right. In fact, that was like one of the only moments. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what. Well, I mean. no, they brought they brought no, they brought characters back before. They brought Sanpei back several times. We're talking. Well, I mean, from like the film <laughs> thing, I guess. Yeah, no, for the, wait, before before you guys go on, though, like the, also that blonde girl was she also in the Mega Evolution episodes too? Yeah, she was. She fought a lot. Yeah, someone Alon, literally yeah, just said it in the chat. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was like. Whoa, like that now? was the, and that was the first Mega Evolution battle, like first battle between two Mega Evolution users, and it was over the top because it blew up like the whole forest that they were fighting yeah. in. It's like, I'm like what the fuck is this DBZ like, this is the, shit? Yeah, I was like, this is the most DBZ Dragon. Uh, this is the most Dragon Ball Pokemon fight we'll ever see in life. Hey man, listen, listen that you win or you die. Team. That's how this goes. But yeah, she went into a punching bag the moment she started showing up in the anime, and I feel bad for her for that. Yeah, she, after a lot, I think she just started losing stuff. Yeah, well, okay. that's all because the la- next time she appeared, she did just straight out lose 15 yeah. seconds. <laughs> all right. Yeah, sadly. But I guess we should probably talk about the last thing about the film, then. Final. You mean, you mean the final rating, right? Or are you talking about something else? Oh, uh, something else. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This <laughs> is just the rating. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You always got made it. Yeah. Let's, no, let's no, watch this him. so we can end it. I can't. I can't trust KG. KG always be fucking with me. Um, Very so that. yeah, final, final ratings. Uh, and I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna just wave my mouse in this general area. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Right. Catch your fire. Uh, I'm gonna let. Richie Hi. go because Richie always takes 20 minutes, so I always have to. Oh. Oh, jeez. Hey man, listen. I don't just bust out Tyrone. I'm an equal opportunity. <laughs> Wait, really? What, yeah. what? Since when? That's hilarious. Well, always, have you you? A, we've always done this shit in the Emerald commentary. The only, the oh, only, per, the only person that doesn't live in a fucking tornado area. Okay, go. Oh, Ooh, all right. Well, anyways. That's, that's depressing. <laughs> all right. Um, I came in with so, I came in with some sort of expectation oh. that I probably wasn't going to enjoy as much as I did. Um, I'm not saying it's the greatest, um, but. I'm I'm saying my expectations w- were somewhat met, and they got gradually got better by a little bit. Um, I didn't really like the pacing, but but I'm sure we already mentioned that already. I thought the storytelling, the plot was kind of not that great. Um, I mean, there were some parts where they kind of did okay in. Um, so I say that was sort of decent, like around the middle. Um. I, I guess they had to throw in the gimmick Pikachu dies for a few seconds for whatever reason, you know, because they got to get your emotions up high for a little bit. Um, but as I think one of you guys mentioned it, um, it, it, it would have been fine, even though I don't necessarily agree with that that um, idea being the movie. Um, if they kind of did that better, then maybe the death scene would have been uh, a little more emotional. They just give it a few more seconds. Um, I'm I'm really glad they did Diancy well, because um, I guarantee you that had they not handled Diancy well the way that they did in this movie, it would have been shame in level tier. So, uh, you, you know, props. Um, let's see. I think a six point five. Um, so, you know, somewhat decent storytelling. Uh, Diancy was done well. Music was decent. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really know what else to say other than the fact that the movie was decent. I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. 
Um, but yeah, 6.5 out of 10. Um, and as they did joke about it, I would usually talk about a lot of stuff, but I'm not sure where what else to, to say other than decent, decent, decent. Um, oh yeah, um, the one last thing I want to point out, uh, the the whole Zerians the Vettel thing was just sort of weird. And I'm talking about like the ending of it, not necessarily um, how they were in the movie. I mean, I expect the Yvetel to be what it was in Xerneas, you know, to fulfill what it's supposed to do. Um, I thought it was sort of satisfying for Xerneas. The Yvetel, I was just like, so it just got told, oh, don't don't destruct here. And it, it was just like, all right, I go, bye-bye. I, I don't know. It seems a little bit anticlimactic to me. Like, I wasn't expecting movie 10 type shit, but, but I was expecting... I was expecting a little more something than that, honestly. But overall, 6.5 out of 10. Decent movie. Not too great, but not too terrible. Um, I wouldn't feel too bad if you didn't watch it. Um, but if you see it on TV, uh, give it a watch. It's not... I wouldn't expect too much, but don't ex- but don't undervalue the movie. So, that's it. And you thought Riches was going to be short? Ha! Ah! Wrong. He did 19. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's improved. I'll let you. I was like character development, ladies and gentlemen. Who, 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 who's next? Who's next? 19.5. I think Vanessa Thank was you, already Richie. talking, so yeah, I'll, let, I'll, let, I'll let Vanessa go next. <laughs> go, go, ahead. go ahead. Look at his maniacal laughter in the background. Thanks, Joker. <laughs> Shit. The guy has been infected with laughing gas. Oh, exactly. Oh, I definitely, I definitely enjoyed this movie more than the last movie I watched. So then, um, so this one for me, actually, for me, it's also six point five out of ten. It's, <laughs> I, it's like, I enjoyed this movie a lot more than the last one. Six point five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, that's I mean, you that. don't know what the rating was for the last. And the last movie was not much of a standard to really jump over. So yeah, this yeah. is an improvement. No, so the reason why I did yeah, this movie really because I yeah. like the, the, I think the strong points for this film to me is the little moments that we Hey, look, in. mom cameo. Yeah, cameos! I couldn't fucking do it! <laughs> <laughs> she, bought, she bought pizza was coming to tell me she bought pizza. And I yes, was like, pizza cameos! I can't, no, pizza time! Pizza time! No, pizza time! Pizza time! Why is Sarah mine, but not me? <laughs> you are mine, anyway. Richie. Nessa, go! Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> So, so, so uh, like the parts we mentioned of the best moments, like where the little moments, like where like where Serena and Bonnie went to the mall, then Ash and Tiaze had a moment, then also Tiaze like say like try to hop away from Team Rocket, like those little moments, like I kind of enjoyed. That was like the parts that stood out to me in this film. The um, the part that the, the part and then also the and then the animation in the background was gorgeous. So I was kind of glad they utilized more. But the part I had like a bit issue is like towards the end, especially was um, especially in towards the end, I had an issue with like the little bit of the pacing and also like I was kind of annoyed. Yeah, the pacing was kind of terrible. The Pikachu scene, to be honest, like I I either I felt like they sh- they basically added it in the last second. It felt to me because that's why they just like because it was just two seconds and oh oh yeah Pikachu's back alive again. So I I remembered I didn't get that quite emotional compared to the other films but like it didn't give you time to like to like just just like like it isn't it like yeah basically just let it settle like it didn't do that at all so that was like and then also some other parts like i remember like i kind of remember one thing where ash and then the three villains were in there when the Valto comes alive and then everyone's running off but ash is sitting standing there like an idiot and i'm basically want to yell at him like move ash get the fuck out of there like, oh yeah, that yeah, whole, yeah, yeah. that moment when the Alto comes out, because I was like, everyone else ran right away, but him, he just standing there like an idiot. Uh, but there was just like, so that was like, so for me though, like yeah, so like mostly for me it was like the little good parts that probably was the part stood out to me. But the just mostly towards the end, if it was if they did the ending a bit different, I probably would have give a, a appreciate a lot more compared to what we were given. Okay. Um... I was ex- I, I I'll be honest. I was, I'm surprised by that score. I, I I thought she was gonna give it higher than that. Um, but just to get some more positivity in our lives, TSS, you can go next. 
All right. Unlike other people here, I give it an 8.625 out of 10. You bitch! No! You, what do you mean? Come on, hold on. Guys, guys, come on, hold on. You always know that TSS is going to give it some strange decimal. Tyrone, that's because you gave up and you accepted it. <laughs> it's not the decimal. You accepted, damn it. <laughs> okay. okay. Let, well, let him say his opinion. He obviously liked the movie more than everybody else. Oh, no, I know. Well, that's why I let yeah. him go next. Well, the, other, the, other, the thing is, remember, okay, the thing is, um, about this movie, when I first watched it, I enjoyed it a lot, and when I watched it again, I also enjoyed it. I think the way that, uh, unlike, I, I know some people will say, oh, but the, but the, you know, the plot development sucks. I don't think so because they they lay it out pretty much in front of you, and if you in you put the pieces of the puzzle together, and it actually turns out to be a decent movie. Um, the scene with the clock tower that was really good, you know showing that the ANSI cannot create the one once she creates the diamonds they go away after time has passed because you see that there was like a little diamond in there and then once it gets crushed by the clock everything disappears but it took a few hours because the the, the, the passage of time w um, went by at that point and then it just disappeared once one one thing broke um, I did like the varying on uh, the bearing backgrounds, you know, the varying locations. It's it was one of the one of the best uses of the location that you could possibly get. Um, I don't think the amount of modes of transportation were too uh, too much because that wasn't the focus. The focus was they were going from place to place. Um, music is music is pretty good in terms of Miyazaki standards. Um, still not going to match his earlier stuff, but you have the Luchable theme. And you have um, Diancy's theme, beautiful, beautiful uh, compositions. Um, the only reason why I would I would have given this 8.75, but you know I had to dock an eighth of a point off because of freaking Megavolt's uh, cinema version, which is like I said, the worst freaking song in modern history to open up a film. God damn. Um, but um, like Yoake, but but um, but Yoake no, I mean I never liked I never liked Volt or Megavolt anyway. But I'm just saying that. Me mega uh, megavolt is just garbage, um, because it just sounds like it sounds, love some, sounds like somebody. But some, it, so, it, so, it <laughs> sounds like you, it sounds like somebody right fucking op <laughs> It sounds like somebody fucking opened Fruity Loops or FL Studio and made it in fucking ten minutes. Okay. Jesus oh. Christ. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> oh Yoake no Ryu Seigun, one of my favorite ending themes of the entire franchise um in the movies, um fantastically made Scandal, does a great job with that, um. The whole, um, the whole thing about once you understand what the fairy aura does, then the plot makes sense. Um, when you when you look at the whole picture, uh, the thing at the end was a was a decent a decent twist, even though it was only like thirty five seconds. Um, but considering the the constraints that they had, they it was pretty much well rounded. As for the whole um, Xerneas and 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 uh, Evatel thing about you know silently going away there's actually like a um a piece of art that somebody made on twitter like several years ago um showing like nanako or freaking um what's her name in english um casey reviewing the film and then you see like a thing where zernia says hey there cherry boy and then just goes away <laughs> And you know, it, it, it's kind of funny. I, if I if I find that image, I'll I'll definitely give it to you. Guys. I want to see it. But any but but anyway, the the film the film itself it's still enjoyable to watch in Japanese. Um, I don't care about I don't I don't care about I don't care about the man who can't afford decent sound font, um, for his for his compositions. But you know whatever. It's but I still give it eight point six two five. Watch the Japanese version, guys. Halucha, uh, Lucha Bulls theme. Now I thing. had to watch it in Japanese because I I never seen this one in Japanese actually before. It's actually pretty enjoyable. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it in Japanese. Um, who was next on the list? We only have Richie. I mean, uh, Tyrone. <laughs> Rich <laughs> Sorry. 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 Listen. Oh, Sorry. Tyrone, you and he is Richie's KG, part so. is so long meant, that I it went to say, two. Listen, I meant to say Tyrone to KG. I'm going to let Tyrone go next. I'm going to go ahead and after much thought, I've decided to give this movie, I'm going to go ahead and be nice and give it a seven. Um, this movie does a really great job of establishing environment. And I think Diancy, because the movie's about her. 
does a really great job of establishing her as a character with the time that they have, obviously with the, um, I believe it was 75 minutes in Japan, 65 in um, America uh, with the time that they do have with Diancie, they make her a very established character. I want to root for her. I want her to succeed. I want her to grow. And the growth shows at the end of the movie, not only are the diamonds able to be sustained, she also has a uh, mega evolution and she's able to do the very thing she sent out to do. She's not a brat, a brat about it. She's not, not snooty. She, not, she doesn't feel like she's over anybody. She respectfully like embraces everything that's happening while at the same time having a cute level of obliviousness. So she's not a character without a flaw. It's just her flaw. It doesn't ruin the movie. Um, the characters here are used very well. For the most part, Ash is used mostly. The others just sort of do things here and there. The villains, I say, are well, the two of the villains are kind of weak. Um, but I feel like the movie has a really great pride in its, um, in its vacation and like its slice of life aspect, which is nice. It's a really nice scenery. It's in the nice use of the characters. We don't have a lot of that in movies where characters just sort of do nothing for the sake of doing nothing and just enjoying themselves. Everything has to be like, oh, these characters are used specifically as fighters for the plot. So it's good to see, you know, characters have fun. It's good to see them dressed. It's good to see them. Why am I hopping? Uh, it's good to see... <laughs> Uh, it's good to see, you know, these characters live their lives. But I feel like one that is a detriment towards the end of the movie, where the climax and the um, and the crisis just sort of have to have to hurry up because we're running out of time. That's one of the big threats that I see towards the movie is, you know, we're running out of time. We need to hurry up and speed this up. So that's what's preventing it from getting like a larger score. But overall, I will say a solid seven. Okay, uh, you're in the glass right now. Uh, anywho, so I'm gonna get mine. Why not the trash? <laughs> no, it's, no, that's the, that's the bit jar, all right? Oh, when people okay, donate so, bits, you're so, in the jar. So I'm basking in the money. Got it. Yeah, exactly. We just don't get any money here. Uh, I like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck. Yep. Quack quack as I nuzzle yeah. you. Yeah, no wonder we don't get paid. Go, go ahead, Kate. Right. Yeah, it's, it's like, all you now. Okay, so. I'm gonna finish this off, and I'm gonna let KG have, have the last word because he, he's the he's been a good boy, uh, apparently. Uh, so <laughs> I, I think I, I had to sit there and think about it. I think uh, I think Vanessa and Richie had the, had the right idea. I'm giving it a six point five. It's one of those hey. films. It's one of those films uh-huh. that I would say, y'all are so proud. I did first. <laughs> it's like y'all, it's like you converted me. Or it shit. just received three six point five. Listen, listen. It's, <laughs> But you know why? Because the the film, what makes the film is Deancey. Deancey to me makes yes. the film, and there's a, some few good Ash moments. I like the callbacks with Serena and the right horn, and giving. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of Bonnie's running joke like Brock's, but it's okay. Um, and then Citron's at least his uh, stuff didn't explode this time, so that's cool. I think the locations look beautiful. I'm not a huge fan of them. Being so quick to travel all over the place, it's not any really a huge issue as a Nick pick. And then obviously the issues I've had with the ending and the villains. So I won't reiterate all that again. Um, it's a fine film. Uh, you enjoy it. It's entertaining. Uh, I just I feel like it could have been more and it could have been better. And so it left me disappointed. And unfortunately, the disappointment's at the very end of the film. So it kind of leaves out on a sour note. But that's just my personal opinion. 6.5. KJ, finish it. Okay. Finish him. <laughs> All right. So after much thought in regards to what I think about this film, I'm going to probably be in the middle cast. I'm probably going to go with a uh, a 7.5 carat out of 10 carats for this review. And the reason as to why I say that is because I love a lot of the segments within this film because of the fact that there are certain things that I'm, you know, a big fan of seeing it now in this film, with like traveling through the mall, on the boat, seeing the characters change, you know, and having them have little small moments and all that. Like, I love that. And Diancie's personality in this film is one of the best because she, as we mentioned before, is a character that's, you know, just 
she doesn't know what to do. She's literally been like a character who's been stuck in a particular location all her life. And now once she finally gets out of that place and comes into her, this world now, she's completely clueless as to what she or how she's supposed to behave with all these other characters. That's why, when, you know, there are moments when she's like saying, oh, now I'll allow you guys to be my friends or something of that sort. She has this whole sense of royalty to it. And it just goes as something as being something funny and i love that it's it's so good to see that side of it so i have no issues with the antsy. i have no issues with how these characters were going from place to place my main issue comes at the end is really where it all boils down to and i always say this many times within various discussions we have in the past a movie can be great at the start it can be great in the middle but if the ending does not live up to anything that they've been setting up, you know, they've matter. been setting up, then it doesn't yeah. really matter at the yeah. end. Yeah, yeah, that's like the part that killed it, killed it the most. Yeah, and it killed it for me because like... it's like they had such a good way to end it. And I think it would have been mm-hmm. also great to have seen the characters sort of have a like little post content stuff as well to see the aftermath of it all and see the Pokemon slowly recover back and etc. Like it, it could have, it needed more time. This film. That was the main issue with it. It needed more time because had it had a little bit more time, I felt that certain issues that we've had regarding like the villains and all that, I think that could have been, you know, completely negated once we had all that extra time. But, you know, it it didn't happen. So we unfortunately have to work with what we got. And to me, this is just how I feel for the film. Had I have I had a good time with it? Yes, I did. Would I recommend it? I would. I think it's definitely one of the better X and Y films. Maybe not my favorite mm. film. I, I'm pretty confident you already know what that one will be. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I can't, I can't right. wait for that. Na- yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. guys. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to prove to all of you guys why it's a 10 out of 10 film. But that's going to be for oh, another God. session. The, well, the oh, problem is the hoop of review is going to be four hours long. With all this talk of Hoopa, with all this talk of Hoopa, he's never seen the film. I'm very curious about how this is gonna go. Oh yeah, God, you're, no. you're gonna join my. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. But anyway. curiosity yeah. is gonna literally kill the cat on this. And and for and for and for KG, and for KG, all I have to say is friendship. Friendship. Okay, I will say one last. Well, actually, no, I I have to. So I'm. I just gotta remind myself to think about that one particular line from the Hoopa movie that I loved so much, but that's for another week. For now, Diancy, this is... Diancy, it's a good film. It works with what it's got. It's just that it needed more time to flesh out characters that really needed it, because when you have villains that are supposed to move the plot forward, and they don't really do a good job on that, then everything just kind of falls and crumbles down. So that's, Uh that's all I can say on that part. And uh, like I mentioned before, I'd recommend the film still. I, I still believe that with its flaws, you'll still get some enjoyment out of it, like with the Diancy bits. So that's all I can say for that. And with that, after an hour and almost two hours, we have finished the Diancy review, which is crazy because we're actually the review is longer than the goddamn movie. Well, yeah. that's because we had to take a long time to talk about It's also because we don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Woo! It's oh. all yeah, yeah, During a talk show, shut oh, up. Oh, you don't think we don't. Exactly. Quite exactly. Now. So oh, so you're so going to love so the next we, movie. So basically, we are the next season of Penn & Teller's bullshit. Okay, cool. Now, yeah. Yeah. now let me go and do my review for the Pikachu short. So, the Pikachu short no, with Mark Lefke and all that is in reference to Pikachu. That's going to head off into the needs some milk. And then they're going through various <laughs> locations, looking through so, multi- yeah, you, do, you, know, you get the so, idea. Why no, did you let him do this? <laughs> no, it's why did you guys, let this man do this, guys, 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 well, guys, well, hey, well, well, hey, at least short. at least at least I enjoyed this. At least I enjoyed this short better than some of the A and A shorts where you have the guy with you have the drugs guy narrating and you can't turn yeah. the fuck off. I like yeah, the yeah. game, all right? <laughs> guys, the, the short version of this is uh, Pokemon Pikachu, dude. Where's my keys? Now let's move on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, Dude, where's my keys? <laughs> yeah, some shit, yo. So, next thing coming up will be the infamous Hooper uh, review. No, that I've never no. watched. Also, no, TSS. A clash of what is yeah. the Japanese oh name for the Hoopa movie? Sure, you got it. It's Pocket. It's Gekijoban Pocket the Monster. No, so no, no. Sorry, sorry. No, they actually ch- they actually changed the fucking title for this. You know what? That this is fucking funny. Okay. It is it is Gekijoban Pokemon Zamubi XY 
Ringu no Chomajin Hoopa, or Pokemon the Movie XY, the theatrical presentation, uh, the Arch Gin the Arch Dinny of Rings Hoopa. So they actually fucking changed the fucking format of the of the way that they announced the movie. And that's why the movie sucks. But we'll that's talk why about that next that. week. Spoilers. <laughs> Just the whole reason, just, right just to re- reiterate for those who don't know, I've never seen the film, so I have no fucking idea what's about to happen. Um, I a guess fun we're... one, that's for sure. I'm <laughs> guessing we're doing this next week, so prepare yourself. Uh, things are gonna get interesting, I guess. Uh, get ready for get get ready get ready for an evacuation. Welcome oh, to God. welcome to the Callows region, folks. Um, <laughs> with all that being said. Thank you, Vanessa, Tyrone, Richie, TSS, and KG for being here reviewing with me. Thank you guys in the chat for uh, providing some interesting commentary on our commentary. And you guys Thank will now be... Thank you. Am- Yay. And then you guys will be immortalized in the video that will be up maybe tomorrow, depending if I maintain consciousness, because my pizza's probably cold by now. But it's all right. Life hey. is hard sometimes. Ooh. Don't you have a microwave? That's not the point. Who the fuck wants to eat cold pizza? <laughs> Who wants a reheat pizza, yo? Come on. Me? You have a microwave oven? And cold yeah. pizza can fuck out here. No, no eat it with the regular oven. G- All right, listen, GG's. Oh, right. eat the oven. Okay. What the? Wait, what? What? No. what? what? No. No. All right, stop it. Anyways. Anywho, I'm going to go right, talk anyways, with Sarah Jenny. Yeah, thank you guys so, for watching. So now, we're, so, now we're, so now we're not going to say no Snorlax to her, and then we're going to go get going. Oh, God. Awesome. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for support. 16 guys in here. Thank you, which is partially probably due to the KG influence. So thank you for the cross promotion. And thank you for hanging out. Um, this will be uploaded within the next few days. And like I always say, life's a game. Play to win. And I will catch you guys later. Peace off. Ciao. Ciao. Get ready for disappointment next week. Thank oh, you. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. Listen, Hope. man, I'm about to prove all of you wrong with my 10 out of 10. Hope of return. Return. <laughs> he says it and then his mic cuts off. <laughs> 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 <laughs>